Hey, trash can. We've some upfront work to do before we get into the playthrough of Kodelka. Kodelka is a horror RPG game set in 1898 Wales. That means sensitive, historic, and grisly subjects. If at any point you feel not okay, you get hit and drop your rings, you run out of spoons, or the nightmare fuel is upon you, please, please, please stop the video and take care of yourself. Your mental well-being is way more important to me than anything going on in this channel. I've quite a few overdue thank yous since I passed the 100 video mark or so. And recently the 1000 view mark. <clears throat> so, Pinky, Kyrian, Cafetil, Yorin, Ilya, TK, Raven, DJ, Jake the Fake Jake, Chanel, Micah, Ross, Connor, LARP Jake, and others I'm sure I'm forgetting. Thank you all for coming along on this mad dash into Let's Plays on YouTube. You give me more support and more of you have shown up than I ever imagined. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I owe thank yous to some of my fellow YouTubers. Ragnarox, Gen Z of the Proper Bird channel, The Gaming Muse, and Sammy of the Trans Witch Reviews. You all do excellent work. Ragnarox, who advocates for games preservation and emulation, who brings new and old games to me to mull over and tells me how to get them running on modern systems. Jinzi, who has a lot of handy mental flaws and more Witcher lore than I ever expected to find. Read for me, so I may consume it as I work during uh, trash bearing hours. The Gaming Muse, who has an extremely chill and supportive community in addition to excellent, excellent making ofs, breakdowns, and uh, biographies of the game developers, and excellent lore and fury. And Sammy of the Trans Witch Reviews, whose enthusiasm for the game was frankly infectious and I anxiously await their uh, their take on Shadow Hearts from the New World and who also mentioned Wild Arms being a thing so keep your eyes peeled for that links to each will be in the description of every episode of the playthrough by way of thank you I'm subscribed to each. They make far better content than I do. Their essays are not to be missed. And I can't recommend checking them out for yourselves enough. If you have the time, seriously, please do. So, that's all the important thank yous. That's the nods to my peers as YouTubers. And that's the important content warning up front. So, that's all the heavy lifting out of the way, Trashkin. Without further ado, I give you... Koldelka. Hey, Trashkin. Sorry about the lengthy intro. Ah, <sighs> infograms. You know them as Atari now. They're a mite slimy. Ah, this intro. This music. Sankoff. <sighs> so, um, the name escapes me at the moment, but the same composer as Secret of Mana, Trial of Manas, and a few others worked his way up from doing sound effects. And he formed a studio just to make this game. And from that rose Shadow Hearts. The one sad note I've been told is that, unfortunately, the story starts strong and weakens over time in Shadow Hearts and Kodelka. Kodelka being the strongest and then 
fading a little with each installment, but the gameplay gets better each time, so... <sighs> we lose some ethos, we gain some strong gameplay. <sighs> it's gonna be a dancing act. Ah, just look at that manor just in the distance. That manor is full of nightmares. Ayersworth, Wales, 31st October, 1898. <sighs> That's right. I know, I know, I know. I could have saved it for October. I know! But the run. First order of business, check the configuration. Alright, run and close. Menu, look. Unassigned. Hmm? I'm turning on vibration even though it doesn't work on this. I know, I know, I know I should have taken some time too, but... Alright, and it's in stereo by default. Good. Alright. So there are some secret items that involve some save work. I'm going to try for most of them. Um... I might have to do some off-screen work for him, though. Hmm. Guess nobody's home. Oh, these cutscenes were so damn ambitious. Oh, sure, it's fuzzy, but good God, this, this, and... Tiny Rath's brain into overdrive. We're like, you mean we could have been looking at the stuff like this the whole time? Discarded packs? That's odd. Ladies and gentlemen, Koldelka, our heroine. Not gonna like a little barrier like a wall. They were just using whatever the hell was on hand, weren't they? Ooh. The vibes of this place are a little off, eh? Having a breather. Just just careful of those spikes, champ. This is Godfrey Architecture. They didn't kill seven or eight builders died doing it. Whoa! Pay attention, that's important. There is a lock state possible in this game for standing dead, and I found it. And it all has to do with that shiny bit of amulet that just went flying off Kodelka's neck that I didn't notice. Oh, this gets cute. I remember this so well. Too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Hey, -o. not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Because you know, Duck has got some trust issues. You have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Business? What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no unless I try. This thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. Oh, brother. Oh, God. I forgot how ugly these things were. Damn it. Here, use this. Take this. Arm yourself. Remember, friends will hand you guns. This tract is called Waterfall, and it lives rent-free in my brain. Uh-oh. Did I click off again? Okay, thank God. Oh, fortify strength, bigger mind, agility, luck? Oh, 
Oh, the Healy stuff. Okay. Uh-oh. This werewolf reject's coming for us. Now, the downside is every weapon in this game can break. Except firearms. I can't. Um... on over here. Oh, great. They've got magic, too. 10 AP. I don't like where this is going. Hopefully this is enough. Alright, hang it. I'll go the other way. Bank Club. I remember the camera being a little more frantic. It's not as bad as I remember. I was worried I was going to have to add a motion sickness. Advisory. Get Panacea. You've learned the spell Flare. The key to items, or the key to spells in this game is they are experiential. Weapons also develop. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm just going to make my life easier. There we go. Now it accepts analog input. All right, Edward. He's undoubtedly unfortunate. This is also hey, the best. What about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. <laughs> So I guess my time is up. Oh, hey, this hand. Angel, I'm not going to ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least? Are you out oh. of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. Surprise! Kodelka is magical. Shut up. Keep it down. <sighs> okay, let's go. Stand well? up or I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah, and... So I cured you, so what? You? You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused, so you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing power. I'm I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I, I know I look pretty shady, but you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No. I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Seems like he was having a great time. So, where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I huh. came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you'd come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right now. shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. My name is Kudalka. And I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? Charmed, I'm sure. Hey, oh. So like I was saying, 
The good news is, guns don't break. The bad news is, healing items and everything else are in limited supply, including bullets. And you do have to take time out to reload. In combat, no less. Uh, we got a normal knife with bare hands. We got no armor. We got no accessories. Okay, um... I guess... Yeah! I guess we'll give you the normal knife, buddy. You're, you're gonna be our frontliner. Congratulations. Look forward to your... Glorious fights. Pay attention to the time. It'll matter. There, there's a chart for the... Big pile of... Secrets. Let's see... Have I already forgotten the controls? I've already forgotten the controls. I just read them. Uh, I know... There's cancel and run. I think Circle is on his sign. Um... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Circle's menu, Axis look. Squares on his sign. Not the most elegant of systems. And it might cost me time, but I'm gonna check this whole dang layout. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Ah, the sound of the torches. Oh, I can temp save here. Looks like there's a bit of something there. Well, I'm going to pause briefly. Now, if I remember right, the, the S is temporary save. And I think that's a good idea here. Most save spots you got to fight for. And are very few safe havens. Oh, right, right, right. Why am I not moving? Ah, there we are. Yep. So, part of it's the time of save. The other part is the the total number of items in inventory for secret items. Been locked. Oh. Like I said, very, very few safe havens. Gonna be doing a lot of this. Just count your lucky stars as just giant rodents at this point. So the stat system is also a little weird, but we'll get to that when we hit the old level up. But basically, as you become more skilled with weapons, and the downside is there's no indication of when weapon's going to break. Just that it will break eventually. But at some point, you will find yourself backtracking to stock up on items against weaker foes. But the more we use magic, the stronger it gets. And they're not too stingy with items. They're pretty stingy with armor, though. Well, let's see what we turned up. Okay. So, if I remember right... Uh... For what we need to do here... We're gonna do a balanced development... Of intelligence, mind, and, uh... Piety for a minute. We're gonna prop up... We're gonna cancel that. 
We're, we're gonna bring up mind. Rather than piety. Nine out of doubt. Not bad. Well, we established we can't go that away. Can we go this way? Hey, a box. That was a lot harder to spot back in the day, let me tell you. Can I reload from there? Can I reload from menu? There we go, full reload. 15 rounds in reserve. We don't have any plain Jane weapons, so... Not too bad on the encounters. I do enjoy the environment to work in this. Ah! Here we go. I missed so much in the early game. Of course, the CRT really didn't help things either. So at some point, you will find yourself bare-knuckling monsters, as Edward. I do love the little spin. But you can build the characters any way you care to. Magic kind of breaks the game if you put a little time into it. But it is important to know that each attribute, with the exception of luck, has a balancing point. All strength and no agility, you'll seldom hit. All agility and no strength, you'll hit. Constantly, but you'll do very little damage. Vitality is important for everyone. Doesn't really have a balancing point. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we'll bring up we'll bring up dexterity and agility because we need this boy hitting. Another four antidote. Fortunately, poison drops after the round, so. At least I hope it, though. It's not always something to draw the eye for these things. Oh! More fighting. More fighting. And of course, you can change mid mid round if you find yourself with a need. Guess I'll wait. We burn for a lot of MP. On one hand, bullets are precious. On the other hand, we have no weapons to speak of at the moment. Besides these, bare knuckling is for suckers. Up. Wait, what are we doing in action? In action is Edward. Right. 
Now, Waterfall is one of those themes I really don't get tired of. It's got a got a good ethereal quality to it. Like, if you ever need some some campaign background background music, this is pretty good for tension. There we go. I've heard successful combats. Uh, sadly, the voice acting will never be as good as this. This, they got theater actors. They did motion cap for the movement. This, this is a one-off. In terms of quality. Let's see, fifteen. Ha. <sighs> There are specific numbers of items you need. I will worry about those later. Because I can just wholesale discard. Um, we'll, we'll worry about fiddling that when we get closer to the hour mark here. I'm just kind of very aware because I never got around to it as a kid. Well, as a teen. Damn straight, I'll take bread. Take any advantage I can get. Hell, I'd take the stove if I could carry it. Alright, more cockroach eyes. <sighs> mm hmm. Well, here we go. Do you seriously just have magic? Yeah, you seriously just have magic. Okay. Well, let's go after the back row then. And we'll divide focus. And we'll stop on off the front row. Ah, oh, the damage on this thing ain't great, but it doesn't depend on stats, so. don't want to waste action in this game if you can help it. There was a point where I did cultivate insane unarmed skill. We'll, we'll knock one down anyway. But most of your actions don't go off right away. They need a beat. Agility determines your act speed, if I remember right. Dexterity determines your accuracy in melee attacks. Piety determines your magic defense, but too high a piety with with too low and other stat, and uh, healing you gets real, real hard. I remember, because I like big single numbers in super specializing, and did not entirely wrong, because I didn't read the instructions. Well, that word's looking kind of rough. Is that bread? What bread do? Covered bread. The dough is put into a pan and baked in an open flame. Restores some HP. Well, that'll come in handy. Well, we've gathered plenty of antidotes for poisoning from one specific set of enemies. Yep, I should probably change our formation. This is quite dull, but I promise it'll get moving. Start center. And... Queen and Knight, of course.
There we go, we'll do the, the good old single stack. Yeah, nothing creepy about this place, clearly. Would you believe, as a boy, it took me a while to figure out that I could just, you know, mash interact button? I like how they, they're ready to hop down. It's a nice little detail. Right, we came in. Oh! Oh, well, we're out of magic. Well, fortunately, from the front row, we can just move up and directly address the problem. We're gonna save the bullets. Yeah, Edward do his thing. So we're out of MP. Uh, got nothing to restore MP. Guess we're waiting. And of course, if you start in a target rich environment, you can do quite a bit of work. Though I fear our normal knife isn't going to make it very long. Done an awful lot of work with that thing. Can you tell this game gave me trust issues? Hi, Listal. Okay, let's get it. Heck is Hi, Listal. There's so, so much to relearn. Oh, I guess I didn't pick it up. Ah. Oh. Well, that's my fault for not remembering how the system work. Anything to comment on this steam engine? You found a dirk hidden behind the picture frame. Yes! I don't know what it's doing behind that picture frame, but I'll take it! Looks like a storeroom. Take the axe. There's always haphazardly everywhere. Oh, hey. Listal. Yes. Oh, that high Listal's gonna haunt me, and I know it. Item. Tool. Restore some MP. Restores plenty of MP, I'd say. This looks like problems, and that looks like an item. Oh, even more pistol rounds. That's terrific. This looks like a place for a fight. Um... Alright, items. Till... Pistol rounds. More thrilling tactical reloads. Let's see, we got 33 pistol rounds to our name. Um, we're doing pretty okay. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of nightmares we got here. This chicken massacre. Oh! You're disturbing as all get out! Bound hands, severed arm, severed head, knife feet, and to complete the look, shards of glass. Yep, I was expecting something along those lines. Power up. Alright, slide over here. And we apply the pistol.
I want to say it to be a weather bee, but I have no idea for pistols. We only know that it's a single action. Meaning, yes, you have to pull the hammer back. Every time. No comments on this carnage? Alright then. I'll proceed for... You know, it seems like a fine time to do exactly that. Yeah, I'm okay with overriding that. Let me guess, this is another temporary, which means it only lives for one load. Okay, so I have to cancel out of the save menu there. We're at half an hour of game time. Three minutes of that was additional. Digital intro. I know, I know, Trash King. You... Hmm. Simple double-edged blade. More decorative than functional. Ordinary knife with a decorated handle intended for use by ladies for protection. Well, we've learned some things. I have no idea if this is even the right neighborhood. We just had to go for the open window, didn't I? Oh, severed arms! Isn't that terrific? Fleshy bits. Alright, we'll, we'll start right and roll, roll left. Well, I'm glad of that. Not quite enough, though. Well, uh, yeah, 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 we'll play, we'll play Rod and Robin here. I don't think I have much movement. Oh. No damage. That's a good sign. Yeah, here I come.
Oh. Uh, like I was saying, um, so we're doing pretty well. I just happened to forget to hit the mic again. Um, we're in fine fiddle. We, we've got a revive in pocket. But ghosts can't be damaged by most weapons. You need to use magic. I learned that the hard way the first time. Fortunately, we got plenty of restoratives on us. Uh-oh. Oh, thank glob. Oh, you've been, you've been silence. Nothing but that panacea to cure, to cure silence. Uh, I guess I'll use Listal on myself. It's up to the worst mage! Oh, they heal 40 at a crack. I kind of wish they told me that in the menu there. Eh, hang it. I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh! Never mind! I remember wrong! Remove slightly forward. Oh dear sweet glob. Well fortunately they have terrible accuracy. Since we established I can cut a ghost. I'm gonna cut a ghost. I just wish I knew that walking in. I could have sworn ghosts were, were a pain in the butt to deal with. Or maybe these somehow are not ghosts. Well, I burned a Listel I didn't need to, but that's fine. I got another four. Yeah! Well, I guess we're headed back in down the stairs. Gain valuable experience. And whiskey! I'll take that, thank you. Appreciate it. Gonna need plenty of that to make it through this nightmare. What are running ups the encounter rate? Just lessens the amount of time I spend in creepo sections. I'm gonna bet it just lessens the amount of time I spend in creepo sections. No, oh, we don't even have a map, do we? Alright. Well, down the stairs then. This is where the game's pushing me. Ah! Oh. Ain't that always the way? Staircases in horror games are trouble. Ah, more big old bugs. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot more antidotes I have no intention of ever using. I am really amazed the knife hasn't given out by now. Like, I really expected it to. Slide one up because we can't. I wonder if standing behind someone who gets knocked back causes me damage. I should experiment with that at some point. See if I can exploit the game system a little and act as a bracing back row. I'm betting not. I'm betting we just both get knocked back. Uh, 
ton of items this time. Ah, one floor down. You know, the downside of that, that painting having an item behind it is I'm going to spend the rest of the game checking every painting. Couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hartman, who say they're the caretakers of the Nemeton Monastery. Interesting. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten say. so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you Ed like Edward? some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell Cur for sure. Curiosity? But this building looked like an old church or something. Oh. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how huh. the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too. You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years, but from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm mm -hmm. not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. No, we aren't. Monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks. That'd be great. Much Looking appreciated. After He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? <laughs> yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days. Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Yeah, about that, though. As a younger man, I met them without suspicion. As an older man, I realize how strange it is for two people to have survived in this place. Perhaps I've simply become more cynical. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Ah. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poison, then I would have had some. Hee <laughs> hee. Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Got it? Poisoned? <laughs> no way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. Oh, you're getting violent. I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote. We'll definitely die. So they really were trying to kill us. Yep. But why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. Well, Listen, just, Edward. Just the guy I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and 
continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. Okay, okay, Kudalka, you made your point and cured the man. He's stupid, he can't help it. Oh, knife. Now we're taking that. Nothing useful, nothing useful. There's a pot. Ah! The fights continue. Oh, I busted the... I busted the knife. Or I got unequipped. Well, we'll go outside long. I suppose it's about time I took some damage. What the what? Okay, he's still doing the knife movement. Ah, okay, it faded away for the animation. Well, Edward seems to be in fine form today. Don't, don't know what that heal up was about, but okay. Let's see if distance is a factor. Nope. We'll just uh, slide to the right. Up. Up. There we go. We got some mileage out of that knife, I tell you what. Don't be sad when that breaks. Ooh, high potions for our trouble. Lovely! I've already gained additional goods. Ooh, cheese. Yunkus! Nothing useful. Uh, nothing useful. Well, got some doors to try. Let's check our game time. Hmm. There's two minutes. We got a little to play with before I run back to the. Ooh. A rich storehouse. Yeah, I'll take that listel. A hammer. Yep. Yunkus. Pipe. Yep. Turn this one open. Come on, there's a hammer and a shovel there too. Come on. Gimme. Well, you're familiar. Up, oh, finally happened. Finally busted it. Oh, I know what happened. Well, since this is in factor in damage. A uh, nope. Oh, 
Oh, vital hammer. Back to knifing. Just enough move. And just enough AP left, baby. But you'll start doing things like multi-attacks, etc. per turn. As you become more skilled with the weapons for usage. Oh, lovely. Uh, let's go. Intelligence. Mind. Okay, so piety boosts your MP. And... We'll throw a point into to vitality just to keep things moving along. There's like two axes right there, man. Something's not right. As you try to move deeper the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you. Oh, heck! Oh, boy, this is gonna be a rough one. Alright, here we go. Well, into the, into the dragons now, as it were. Ooh, nice! We got two-for-one sale going on. <sighs> Oof. I'm pretty sure this thing's weak against Flare, so... Take that organic matter! I keep, I keep, I keep glancing away at the wrong time for stuff. Oh, and Edward's been silenced. Well, that'd be a problem if Edward's a man of letters. Oh, poison. Do we get out scot-free? No. Oh, no fall up this side. Uh, he'll... That will do, Edward. Good glob, I hope we got enough. It's gonna be a long trudge back if not. Well, we're not silenced, so... Yeah! This should do nicely. I like that magic takes time investment. Some main guns, it's just instant. Here, like, if you go magic, it can break the game. But it comes at a cost. Icon's Necklace. The Spell Geyser. Well, we'll be taking all of that. Alright, uh... Alright, 
right, well, I got about mm, 11 minutes to get to a save. The, the, the soup was bad. It's bad soup. Oh. My head. Ladies and gentlemen, this is James. You are going to come to hate What him. happened? Oh. Yes. That's right. That monster. Oh. Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something and it took me to the monastery. Uh, uh, uh. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Mm. Through the main gate, of course. Really? The caretakers welcomed me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So nothing happened to you then? Of course mm -hmm. not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. Look at this plinth. It's broken now, but... Uh. Holy water ran from it until recently. But I've... Become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. Just a minute. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. Great, now you're I'll making sense. You. Now we got James, who is less likable than you expect a priest to be. The monster's gone, the fawn is once again filled with holy water. Huh. You don't say, game. You don't say. You can save here. Ah, how convenient. It's shining with a sacred light. It appears to have been purified by the holy water. Yeah, yeah, I'll make a permanent safe. There we go. Okay, yeah, overwrite. Well, we're now in. We have our full complement of weaves and we bet. We we bumped off one boss. We we met Bessie and Ogden. Which, if Ogden's not a reference to Ogden Marsh, I don't know what is. But that's gonna do it for this session of Cold Delka, the second game in the Wild Hearts run. If you'd like to check out the whole run of Wild Arms, all thirty-three hours of it, uh, well. Probably have a card here. And, uh, of course. If you don't have that kind of time, I get it. But I appreciate you hanging out by the trash fire. You don't have to go just now if you don't care to. But before you leave, make sure you finish your snacks, your drink, return your chair to under, 
the snack table if you borrowed it. Take it along if you brought your own camping chair. Take a minute and have a good stretch by the trash fire. I wouldn't want you pulling anything on the clock home. It's quite cold out yet. Helps to prepare for these things. I've been your humble host, Raspa Trash Bear. And until next time on Trash Year Gaming, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us by the trash fire. Good night. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one.